right, I took my wife's two biggest pots, put two gallons of water in each one. There's nothing in there, that's just a stain on the pan. And heat those, starting to heat those up. Now I'm going to measure out some of these Dokajip flowers, sorrel or hibiscus. These are one pound bags. I want to use about a half a pound, eight ounces, for four gallons. I have to use two containers to heat up the four gallons, so I'm going to measure out four ounces. All right, there's four ounces, about that much. This should be enough to make a nice, strong brew. And I'm just going to pour the flowers into the water. That's it, nothing else. I'll give them a little stir, bring them up to a boil, and then let them simmer for an hour or so. Okay, I weighed out three pounds of sugar. These guys came to a boil and then simmered for an hour or so. You can see it turned dark red and all the flowers sank to the bottom. I'm just going to mix in this three pounds of sugar. Make sure it dissolves. And then I'm going to do the same thing to this one over here. Three pounds of sugar. That will give me a total of six pounds of sugar for four gallons of juice. And then I just let it sit overnight and cool off. Okay, it's the next morning now. These guys are cooled down to close to room temperature. Still a little, little bit warm. I got my glass jug out. If you don't have one of these glass jugs, they're like 35 bucks, but it's well worth it. Makes it a lot more fun. I'm going to use this uh, one-step cleaning stuff that I bought at the wine store. I've been using it. It seems to work good. It's easy. Just need to mix one tablespoon full of this powder into one gallon jug of warm water. There. Now I'm going to add that. And then just shake that up and then pour it into my glass jug. Yeah, just two things. Go on the That's enough. No rinse is necessary, but I'm just going to give it a little rinse anyway, just because I don't want to have any residue from the cleaning stuff left in there. The next thing I'm going to get my yeast ready, sterilized it, and put a, about halfway full of lukewarm water. Now I'm going to put a tablespoonful of sugar in there. The yeast I'm using is this uh, Red Star Premier Blank. Seems to work pretty good. Okay, and then give that a little stir. The spoon has been sterilized. All that yeast should start waking up and bubbling pretty soon. Just let it sit until it starts foaming up. I bought this uh, Furmax yeast nutrient, supposed to be all the nutrients that the yeast needs. I'm going to add this. It's uh, one tablespoon for two for two gallons. I've got four gallons, so I'm going to make put two tablespoons in. This is because uh, using these Dokajip flowers, there's no actual fruit for the yeast to get nutrients from. So I figured out last time I did this that they need some extra nutrients. Okay, one tablespoon. Two tablespoons. Okay, now I'm just going to try to pour my juice in here. Got a little screen to catch all the flowers. Okay, I just sterilized this little rubber stopper with this little bubbler and filled it up to the marks with water on each side. This will keep anything from getting in and it also makes it a lot more fun because you can like watch how fast it's bubbling. 
All right, yeast is foaming up pretty good there. So that means it's uh, live and healthy. I'm going to go ahead and pour that in. Maybe rinse that a little bit and pour it in. Here I just put a little bit of water in there to get the rest of the yeast out. Alright, that should be good. I'm just going to put my stopper in the top and then pick up the whole jug with the four gallons in there and just kind of twirl that around to mix up the yeast and the yeast nutrients. Now I only have one more thing to do. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is add five pounds of sugar. I'm just going to pour it in and let it settle to the bottom. I don't want to mix it up. I just want it to settle onto the bottom. Then it will dissolve slowly when the yeast needs sugar. I already had 6 pounds in there, so this gives me a total of 11 pounds of sugar. Okay, I did put my stopper back on. In summary, I have used 8 ounces of flowers in 4 gallons of water, boiled them for about an hour, let them simmer for another hour, then let them cool overnight. Then I have yeast nutrients. Six pounds of sugar dissolved into the liquid, and I added five more pounds. The last five pounds I added, you can see it sitting in the bottom. Put my yeast in there, so they have sugar, they have nutrients, and now I just have to wait for them to do their work. Okay, it's been about 21 hours. My yeast is just going nuts in there. Room temperature 71 degrees Fahrenheit. See my bubblers go on about one bubble every second. Okay, this is the second day. Still bubbling away. About one bubble every second. Looking good. Got some happy yeast here. Third day of winemaking. Still bubbling pretty good. Calmed down a little bit, but it's still bubbling about once a second. One thing I notice is that my layer of sugar in the bottom is almost gone. Day four, still bubbling good. The bubbles have slowed down to about once every two and a half seconds or so, maybe three seconds. I think that means that there's uh, the alcohol levels building up and that slows down the yeast. Day five, still got some foam going on top. The bubbles are slowing down to about once every three seconds. It's day six now. Bubbles are about once every four seconds now. Okay, day seven on my winemaking project here. The bubbles are now about once every five seconds. Now it's day 15. The bubbles have been slowing down a few seconds every day. Right now the bubbles are about once every 45 seconds. Day 19 now, the bubbling, just over a minute between bubbles. It's been going for one month. I haven't disturbed it at all. The bubbles are about one every 65 seconds now. Gonna give it a taste and see how it, how it tastes. Yeah. Still too sweet. sweet, right? Yeah, it's, it's still sweet. too sweet. I'm gonna let it sit for another week before I siphon it out and mm -hmm. let it settle. Recording. All right, it's uh, day 38, and the bubbles are about once every uh, 85 seconds now. So. I decided that it's about time to go ahead and siphon this. Just gonna open it up. I've got this uh, tube. I put a glass tube inside this other tube so it'll be stiff and go straight down. Run that down there. Oh, that way I won't we'll suck the stuff off the bottom. Inch and a half, maybe go up a little more. Yeah, if you can make it run on the edge, mm -hmm. it, it's better so it doesn't splash as much. Mm -hmm. Just got done siphoning this out, and this is a. Uh, all the yeast 
gooey stuff left in the bottom so I'm going to wash this jug out really good and then I'll put it back in here and let it sit for a couple more weeks. I'm just going to pour it in. It'll be faster if I don't spill it all over the place. It's going to get a lot of air in the wine and release a lot of carbon dioxide. Probably take a while for it to start bubbling again because I released a lot of CO2 out by pouring it like that. There we go. All right, got it poured back into the jug. Cleaned it all out and poured it back in. We'll uh, see how it does. Let it sit another week or two. It should start uh, getting darker colored and clearing up a little bit. Okay, it's been 51 days since we started this. It's looking pretty good. The bubbles are so slow that I can't time them. Maybe somewhere between 6 and 10 minutes per bubble. All the bubbles are gone off of the top. It started clearing up a little bit and the color darkened. And I'm going to say this is ready to siphon out and put in the jugs. Siphoning it into the old juice bottles. I am, I'm holding this tube just about an inch off of the bottom so I don't suck up any gooey stuff. Okay, there it is all bottled up. I got about uh, three and three quarters gallons here. Should last us for a few weeks at least. <laughs> There's always a little bit left in the bottom. It's got all the like, gooey bottom stuff in it, so I just throw it away. Here's how it looks. I can't describe the taste really, but it's good. A little bit of fizz, kind of tangy, kind of sweet. It's yummy. It's good uh, over ice too. Put ice on it or pour it over ice. It's good. Okay, that's how I make wine out of Dokka Jip flowers. Mm -hmm.